Now, I'm not going to make a video about still pictures of buildings. What I am going to do, though, is find some models that I can work with who aren't wearing masks. Hi. I'm having a little bit of a creativity crisis. In the year that I've been making videos now on YouTube, I've also been learning still photography, something that I found is a very deep subject and something I also enjoy doing a lot. And it was my plan to incorporate some of my uh, still photography, pop photography into my video stories. I was going to start doing fashion photography, kind of style photography, if you will. So I'm seeing a reemergence of style coming out of Korea, mostly. As the world reopens, if it does continue to reopen, I'm hoping for a uh, an economic boom. I think there's a lot of pent-up demand, and along with that, a reemergence of style. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but that's, I guess, my wish list. So it was my plan to come back here to Thailand and start taking uh, photographs of people, stylish folks, out in the street. You know, kind of, you know, everyday uh, Thai people and how they express themselves and the way that they dress. And of course, everybody looks like this. So, you know, it's not really a good time to be doing uh, street photography about style, unless you like surgical masks. So I want to still continue practicing my, my still photography. So I'm out today shooting buildings, right? How boring is that, I thought. But the truth is, is there are some really cool buildings here in Thailand. I'm standing under one, the Unilever building. This wasn't even here when I first moved here six years ago. But this is the one that I came to shoot. This is really kind of a cool design. And it does represent change, that's for sure. I mean, within my lifetime, there was probably a guy farming rice on that location. I bet you never saw that coming. So that's the topic of this video, is adapting to change. Even when that change is really kind of the same old thing is what we've been experiencing now for nearly two years, but adapting to whatever the conditions are that we're faced with. Now, I'm not going to make a video about still pictures of buildings. What I am going to do, though, is find some models that I can work with who aren't wearing masks. This is Sai Sai. Sai Sai is my girlfriend's niece. Uh, she's 21 years old. Yes. 21 years old. She studies psychology. Yes. Studies psychology at what university? Uh, Mahanakorn University. Mahanakorn University. And I'm fortunate enough to have Sai Sai living under my roof. And she's a model. Well, at least she is with me. And uh, so I have, a, I also have a short video and I have an idea that I want to employ here using Sai Sai as a model. And I'm going to make this video uh, about me making a short video. Uh, how's that for an adaptation? And there's, um, I also put videos up on BitChute. Uh, this happens on YouTube, but not as frequently. BitChute seems to have an inordinate uh, collection of nut bags on it. And they're always making comments about the young Thai women that I have in my video. Uh, uh, Sai Sai is 21, but she is a, a very young woman, and, and I'm more her guardian than anything else. So people making, you know, kind of crude comments about, you know, sty Thailand stereotypes of, uh, of you, know, you know, the nature that I'm talking about. People associate Thailand with body sexuality and that kind of stuff. That's not what's going on here. I just wanted to let you know. Whenever I have a young woman in a, a photo shoot, I always have uh, a chaperone nearby. Hello, Boa Cow. Say hello to everybody. Huh? In this case, uh, Boa Cow, who's my girlfriend, is also uh, Sai Sai's aunt. Um, I also uh, recently took a couple of pictures of some very young girls, uh, children, 13 and 14 year olds. We were up visiting uh, northern Thailand and I made a short video about uh, the girls on a, on a swing. What was 
interesting about that is that uh, Kelly, who's 13, her, her mom spent about an hour preparing her uh, in, in this beautiful uh, Hill Tribe dress and doing her hair up and putting ribbons in it and makeup on. And I took this short video of her in a swing, which I thought was cute. Right behind me was this crowd. So I just wanted to let you know that's what's going on here. Uh, if you are looking for videos about the body side of Thailand, I have a friend, uh, uh, Rodney, down in Papia, who has a, uh, a, a channel that does that kind of stuff. And I kind of like Rodney. He's a cool guy. And he's unabashed about uh, his involvement in that realm, if you want to see that kind of stuff. That's not what's going on here. Okay, back to the short video. I like making shorts, short videos, but I found early on that people who watch, my viewers that watch these kind of long uh, style videos, are annoyed by the shorts. So what I did is I started a shorts channel. If you want to see the uh, short video that I, I made of Sai Sai, I put a link in the description. You can go take a look at it there. As I get better at shooting videos with my new Nikon Z7 II, the camera that you so I'm using for the still photography in the video. I'm using it now to, uh, to, to shoot this closing aspect. I hope to get better at using that, uh, although th this uh, iPhone 11Z, uh, I'm sorry, 11 uh, Pro Max is, is, is a wonderful piece of equipment too, but you can just get more cinematic when you use the uh, uh, use a, a nice camera like the Nikon and uh, as I get better at it I hope to use it a little bit more. In the beginning of this video I talked about how uh, making a video about still pictures of buildings isn't very interesting. Well it is if the building is haunted. That's going to be the subject of my next video. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.